action was passed under Lee Brown, back Mayor Lee Brown during that time, it was very clear that, you know, that the contractors agreed that they would try to achieve some of these goals. Some of them made them, some did not have certain contracts. The engineering community, um, I think, exceeded most of their goals. Um, so it's still a learning process, and, and I don't know if, if uh, you know, I, I want to, anyway, there are goals, and I think I want to give credit to the contractors that's trying to achieve and meet those goals. But the concern I have is this. Every, I mean, everybody have their own opinion about uh, OVO. What I've gotten to learn is that over time they've grown and they've gotten better and better. When we have concerns, colleagues, about their operation, what I did was took a moment and went over and walked that process. And I've learned so much about uh, how they operate. The program is set up as independent of these departments, and it's not flawless, but it's a pretty good program. But I just think we need to just be mindful. We have a director, deputy directors that are trying to do what needs to be done to make it a flawless program, but nobody's perfect. Uh, but I would encourage you to go over and go through the process and any comments that we may have. Uh, you have a mayor's race coming up, and I would hate for someone to be scarred with something that's not 100% accurate uh, as a new mayor comes in. We had a situation last week where one of the contractors um, did not fulfill the goals, and when that contractor, we went through a process, and that contractor uh, has been placed on probation. I contacted the director. The director made it very clear. Her recommendation was different. So she has documentation of her recommendation. But she respects the administration, respects the council. The point I'm making to you is, before we start throwing people under the bus, sit down and talk with them and understand their process and understand why they make the decisions. Nobody's perfect, but I have a lot of confidence in OBO and what they're doing and their intent. They know they're walking the thin line. They can't force contractors because of the legal uh, requirement uh, from to, to say we have an OBO program you have to do. But they're going to do what they have to do to make sure the good faith effort is, and they should, is put in place. But I just, you know, I refuse to sit up and let them continue to beat down the director in that department every week, and we haven't taken the opportunity to go and visit and tour, which is um, which I'm encouraging everyone to do, to tour that department and get a clear understanding of their process. And maybe you can bring some, some uh, advice to help improve it as opposed to doing it here at council. Just keep that in mind. Thank you.